leader suspended by a party over child protection allegations. Exbury Council leader Mike Connolly has been suspended by the Labour Party. Connolly, who quit the leader last year, has been accused of not following child protection rules for political reasons ahead of the 2015 elections. At an emergency meeting on Thursday, Bury Councillors voted and anonymously in favour of publishing the results of the report and agreed to carry out a further investigation into the councillor's conduct. The investigation will be carried out by Charles Bronze, QC, who wrote the second of two reports into the safeguarding issues that cal calaminated the registrations of Mike Owen. The council's chief executive and Mark Caroline is extinctive director for children, young people and culture. The report found that both had explicitly and deliberately delayed implementing safeguarding procedures when allegations about Simon Carter first came to light in the spring of 2015. Carter, the former councillor of former councillor for Tottington, had given a three-year community sentence after pleading guilty to making indecent images of children back in 15, 2015. It was later found out that Carter had previously been employed by Oldham Council, but was sacked after he was looking for sexual images of pre-teens on his computer back in 2010. The report said that although Carter was immensely removed from the council's list of people approved to adopt children, it found Mr Owen and Mr Caroline waited up to five weeks to carry out a string of child protection measures that should have been implemented within 48 hours of an allegation being made. Councillor Rishi Shorey, leader of the Bury Council, said, Since I became leader in 2016, I have been determined to get to the truth surrounding the, this matter and to get the facts out into the open so that the public knew what had, been, what had gone on and who was responsible. This is why I ordered an independent investigation by children experts Malcolm Newsom, CBE, which subsequently led to the second independent review carried out by Charles Bourne QC. And we have now made both their reports public. Following these inquiries, two senior council officers have left the council and by procedures have has referred him to the council standards committee. There will also be a further investigation into the role that councillors may have played in this sorry episode. I am determined that the mistakes of the past are not repeated and that the council gets back to providing first class services to local people and local businesses. Bury is a great place to live, work and visit and it is the job of me and my colleagues to provide the leadership that the council and this town need to support our local economy, build new homes, invest in our schools and protect our environment.